Well, very interesting developments. I go to the court on Friday. Uh, prior to that, I went to various meetings uh, and saw at the Hamilton Police to file perjury charges. Now, not only did an inspector, but a chief inspector said, and I quote, that would be up to the sheriff to decide whether perjury charges should be filed or looked at. Hmm, interesting. So I go before the sheriff. The sheriff must know I want to file perjury charges. Every time I try to speak, every time, and I'm before a sheriff in a British court where you have the right, the divine, inalienable right to address that sheriff. If he doesn't like it, you have to say fine, but you have to say it. He would not let me speak <coughs> all the time. Threatening the contempt, which was confirmed by the police saying, Mr. McCarroll. And the officer came out and said, I'm sorry, but no, I didn't want you to get put in contempt. This is a bullying by public servants, not by the police officer, by that sheriff, denying me the right to make a motion. So I'll go straight over to the Procurator Fiscal's office and get a practitioner in law, not a member of the support staff, but an actual qualified lawyer who represents the Crown in prosecutions. And I say to her, I wish to file perjury charges. And she said, and I quote, that's up to the police to decide. So question, who knows what? Got the Procurator Fiscal? saying it's up to the police, you've got the police saying it's up to the sheriff, and you've got the sheriff not allowing you to make a motion at court now. We'll keep you posted on further developments, and this will be on YouTube. Thank you.